Hope you're having a great, great Sunday. And uh, today is the last day of January. <laughs> so uh, let's go ahead and wrap it up with a uh, little bit of a loot haul. As you can see, I got a couple of stuff that needs to be opened. And uh, let's hope let's open up this one. Uh, it's funny, I, uh, I saw this one. And uh, this came from my last loot haul. Loot hole, and uh, I was surprised that I didn't open it up. So uh, let's go take a look of uh, what's in it. Uh, because to be honest with you, I don't know what I ordered. <laughs> Sometimes these um these packages come in uh, in really bizarre um, times and days, and then I'm like, what did I order here? Well, it's like someone just. Text me. Okay, so let's go pick up. Let's see what we got here. Uh, let's see. Uh, it's from Grow Facial. Grow Gorgeous. Well, there's a lot of. Uh, brands here as you can see there's a I'm not sure you guys can see it there's different brands here I am once again I am not sure what I ordered so let's, let's take a look oh uh, I think I ordered from Zabi Oh wow. This is a Jurassic Park uh sack. Wow. Look at this. It's big. I believe yeah, I I don't even Wow. I don't know how to. Okay, so yeah, this is. Uh, I I didn't know it was going to be this big. <laughs> uh, so I thought this was going to be a string, a, a uh, one of those uh, drawstring bags. I mean, technically, I can use it. I just have to kind of put it around my arms or around my shoulders, like so. But yet yeah, that doesn't look quite comfortable. Yeah, it looks more like <laughs> it looks more like a cake. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. This is perhaps definitely something to use for like laundry. But uh, yeah, <laughs> definitely, definitely for laundry. So uh, yeah, this is. Uh, I'm not sure how much it cost me. Uh, somewhere around maybe fifteen, sixteen dollars, something like that. Yeah, I was, uh, I was about to go buy another one because uh, it, I, I didn't know that I did order or not. So yeah, um, there's no receipt. Uh, return center. Okay, so perhaps this was a back order, and it took me this long to go get it. So yeah, I got me a a, a bag for a uh, to do laundry. All right, let's take a look right here. In this let's take a look at this Amazon box. Sides as well. There you go. Okay. Okay, so I ordered 
uh, some protein bars I've been getting to shape lately and uh, the thing about these is that they get really expensive in the store it's like maybe two or three dollars per bar and uh, yeah it gets it gets rather expensive because I always buy like three or four packs of not boxes but as in packs and singles so I do spend uh, a little bit more money than I'm supposed to and so I decided to go ahead and get the from Amazon uh, I'm not sure how much they cost for um, if I go to uh, places like Sam's uh, I'm trying to buy something like this under a bulk uh, makes things a lot cheaper so yeah i uh, definitely gonna be starting taking those on Tuesdays since I usually work out Tuesdays and Thursdays of course depending on uh, the day and sometimes I do work out extra on the sat on the weekends uh, sometimes I work out on Saturdays sometimes I work out on Sunday so I just I do kind of take turns of it here and there uh, Saturdays I don't really go out un unless I'm in a really good mood I just want to stay home relax but uh, with so many conventions that are going to be well I wouldn't say so many but with certain conventions going on, I gotta get up, get a bit more active so I could go out. So yeah, that's what I got from uh, from Amazon. Uh, I think I ordered something else, and uh, perhaps it might come up later on. Okay, so I got something from Loot Crate, and I think I know what it is. So let's go ahead and open this. Ooh, Nelly. So I got so I got a Jurassic Park T Rex figure from Loot Crate. Now, uh, what makes this one really special? What makes this one stand out a lot more is that this is a rare figure. And when I mean rare, I mean really rare. Like this was only placed at certain uh, places. And so, as you can see here, this is basically Rexy at the iconic pose of when dinosaurs ruled the world, <laughs> ruled the earth. And uh, it's, it, it looks cool. It looks really detailed. But what makes this one is basically its value. Now, like I said, this one right here, it was rarely, um, what you call it, it was rarely placed on orders. Because it said the chances of you getting it is such and such. Now, I went on eBay. I would go to eBay on times to see if there's anything worth buying from, um, uh, from Blue Crate that is Jurassic related. Or Resident Evil related, and uh, let's see this is how it goes. Yeah, stretch out them legs. <laughs> so there you go. We're gonna go ahead and connect the tail. Okay, so. Oopsies. So I saw this figure on eBay and uh, it was starting the bids at. Man, I am a bit afraid of breaking it. It's not popping in as it's supposed to. Stubborn little bastard. Okay, so we got Rexy right here. And we're gonna stretch her out. That doesn't sound right. So we're gonna stretch her out. Um, her feet. And we're gonna pop the tail peg that's right there. Alright. Like so. And we're gonna put this banner 
right there. There's just going to be the little triangular slot right there. And we're going to place it right there. And uh, see, we got it right. Yes, see, we have it placed. The thing is that, oh, there you go. And this is how it looks like. It looks really cool. Really deep. Now, like I said, I would go look for her um uh, on eBay and the thing is that it gets very pricey. I kid you not. That one's perhaps one of the most priciest figures of Jurassic Park on Loot Crate. And sometimes the bidding starts at forty five dollars, even fifty, and I thought I saw one for sixty dollars. But the here's the thing. I saw one maybe about a month ago. I kid you not, I saw one on eBay and it was selling up to five hundred dollars. Even like maybe between five to five fifty. Just for this figurine like that. Now if you have this one, I will tell you this. You better cherish this a lot. You better take care of this baby really, really good because trust me, this might help you out of buying a house. <laughs> so yeah, I'm probably going to have it there uh, placed in a very safe place because I do not want to see this one being in pieces. So, it looks beautiful. I probably might take that one and take photos since I'm getting into photography and photo editing and stuff like that. So, yeah. Uh, that one cost me, I believe it was like $50, $55 plus the shipping. So, it's about $60. And, um... Uh, yeah, uh, I bought it through the Loot Vault um, website. Uh, sometimes, uh, back then, I remember that Loot Crate would have this option to have, uh, uh, to, to check out the bargain section or the clearance section. They would have the Loot Vault um, uh, page, but unfortunately, they closed it down and then they reopened it during the holidays, this past holidays. And I saw it and I thought, I, I gotta go get it because I'm not going to pay over $500 just for this Rexy figure. And here she is in her glory. Alright, so let's go ahead and move on with the next one. Uh, yeah, I think this might be the last package. Yeah. And this is from Box Lunch. So let's go ahead and take a look what we have here. Okay, we got a backpack. Alright. Alright, so we got us a little pop figure. A pop figure. Pop figure. Um, I did order an extra one of, um, of the Rapture from Jurassic Park. Uh, it was actually in a special at Loot Crate. No, not look great. A box lunch for buy two, get one free. And uh, I just, when you see something like that big, you just got to go for it. And so there it is, a free figure, basically. And i uh, got some coupons uh, that is for next month, 25% uh, off your entire purchase. So there you go. And I got myself another coupon as well for fifteen dollars, and I could save that one till mid March. So that's excellent news, of course. All right, so I got here a Hogwarts trivia quiz. Now I'm not really big into Harry Potter, but I know some people are. But uh, this is definitely something I. Uh, like to uh, host one day a uh, small uh, like I said I've been hosting panels left and right and I do game shows as well so I might do a Harry Potter based uh, trivia game and uh, yeah this is definitely quite uh, interesting um, 
I've seen uh, I've seen the first one. I believe it's called the Sorcerer's Stone, if I'm correct. And uh, yeah, it comes like a poker card. <laughs> it does. It does come in a poker card. Yeah. So let's take a look how it looks like. Okay, aim for the game. Be the first to collect five cards. Uh, player count two and more. So this is definitely something. Okay. You know what? This is not really a bad idea. Yeah, I definitely might keep this one. Uh, like I said, I'll be doing a host. I'll be doing a panel. Uh, I do. I'll be, I'll be doing a game show host uh, panel. Of uh, I definitely have to do Harry Potter. And I actually have a, I actually have a cosplay colleague of mine who is really into Harry Potter. So, yeah, uh, I definitely would like to give it a try, test, test your knowledge. But I do have to watch the Fantastic Beasts since that's a prequel, if I'm correct. So, uh, yeah, this is cool. And for the big old package. This is a Jurassic Park Isla Nublar backpack. Uh, this one was actually expensive. Um, this one was originally $70 when it first came out. Ooh, this is like faux leather. Yeah, it feels really good here. And uh, has this kind of, uh, kind of gated image gated look gate look and it has the zippers it has mr. DNA here not sure if you can see it. let me see if I could point into the light there's that little image of mr. DNA right there at the corner okay so this is right here to uh, tie your stuff up but uh, actually, to be honest, I don't know what to strap on to this uh, nylon strings. Uh, there's the Isla Nublar, fa Isla Nublar facility, engine parks and recreation department. All right, see, so now you know. Okay, this is really neat. Yeah, so like I said, this one cost me, well, it originally cost $70, but it had the special and it was worth fifty dollars and this one was on low stock so they did have the uh, uh what you call it a uh, final sale that means you can't have any returns so all sales final so uh that's how it looks like in the outside there's the sides it's a very very durable uh fabric i believe it's kind of like nylon I believe here, this is where you're going to put your um, your water. Well, you got two sides. So, yeah, one can be your water. The other one can be maybe two bottles of water. Okay, let's take a look at the... Uh, obviously, there should be a zipper here. Oh, oh, oh. So the zipper would be where the blue line's at. And uh okay, and then there's another one right here. So you got two two pouches of stuff and uh yes. Yeah, as you can see this is how it looks like. Um the inside does feel good. Uh basically your typical fabric or material. Now right here it's a lot softer so this is a lot of suede here definitely suede which is actually quite rare to have suede in a back in a backpack but I, this would definitely be your place to have your um, more gentle equipment like maybe your phone your laptop any type of uh, gentle uh, items that needs to be placed in there so uh, yeah, that is pretty much it. There's, yeah, th this is really good. I uh, definitely might need to use this one for um, 
when I'm doing my, <laughs> I have three backpacks, I kid you not, I have, and they're all Jurassic related. Uh, this one is definitely something that I may use for conventions, or uh, maybe for conventions, yeah, or uh, special occasions like hiking. So this would be my outside adventures, my adventure pack for cosplay and uh, for hiking. I definitely like to wear it with pride. And uh, yeah, the other backpacks, one of them is for the gym. And the other one is for, I don't know why I have the other one for. I think it's a blue one. I use that for my, I think I might use that for a, a special occasion. Uh, like an emergency bag, just in case if something comes up. So, uh, yeah, that is pretty much it. Uh, this is really cool. Uh, I should be getting some other stuff in the next couple of days or weeks for the next loot haul that I'll be getting in the, um, February. February 15th, which would be more likely in the middle of the week, if I'm correct. I think it's going to be on a Monday. If I'm correct, because I'm planning to take the 8th off to take care of some business. So let's take a look, just in case. Uh, no. No, this is still January, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's going to be on the 15th, which is going to be President's Day. Ooh. <laughs> so that is pretty much it, guys. I uh, hope you guys enjoy this uh, loot haul. I definitely have fun. Um... Like I said, I'll definitely be doing something special, something cool with this uh, Rexy figure. Yeah, it's going to be placed in a special location where it'll be handled with the utmost, utmost care because, like I said, this one right here uh, might take me to a really nice place. Hopefully, I, I don't know, maybe it'll be worth $10,000. <laughs> Even with that, we'll see how it goes. Like if I really need to get rid of it, but or get rid of her, but no. Well, maybe if it was like fifty or sixty thousand, but <laughs> well, we'll see how it goes in the future. So, hope you guys enjoy this nice, lovely loot haul. I will see you guys next time. Have a great day. Enjoy your evening. Enjoy your remainder of uh, of January, and uh, I'll see you guys next month.